There's a mass extinction occurring on the planet today. There has never been anything like this in human history. You know, humans have never seen anything like this. In many ways, it's the biggest crisis since we came out of our caves 10,000 years ago, no less. The last recorded truly mass extinction was about 65 million years ago, and we're now starting into another mass extinction, except this time it's not an asteroid, it's our own species, Homo sapiens, that's doing the job. Our estimates of how many will be lost if we're on this path are pretty good, and they're really big numbers. We may well lose half of the world's biological diversity. If space aliens were doing what this culture is doing, if aliens came down from outer space and they were vacuuming the oceans, 90% of the large fish in the oceans are gone, 90%. If they were changing our genetic structure with phthalates and they were changing the climate, we would fight back. During the last 50 years while I've been involved in conservation, I've noticed that the amount of money going into conservation has increased, let's say, five times over. And the amount of scientific understanding we've got has increased five times over. The number of citizens involved in this game increased five times over. And yet, our cause is still going down the tubes. So the mass extinction is gathering pace more, more than ever. So, so what's going wrong? We need to attack the root causes of our problems. In our quest to live a good life, we're wiping out the very foundations of our well-being. Denial is a word that actually refers to quite a few different processes. And our um, denial of the environmental damage that we're doing probably includes all of these different processes in one way or another. Preventing extinction is, is a, going to be a big challenge for human society, but it's certainly one that we're capable of doing. Something is birthing now. An awareness is coming to us that is totally fresh. We have to begin the process of reinventing what it means to be human. This is something that we have to do now. It's not something that we can postpone to our children or our grandchildren, it's up to us. This is a responsibility that our generation has uniquely.